A solid propellant rocket, these are the earliest rockets, were solid fuel rockets, powered by gunpowders. They were used in warfare by the Chinese, Indians, Mongols, and Persians, as early as the 13th century, as today the solid propellant rockets are still used in military armaments. These are the solid propellant rocket. This rocket have bit of difference. Comparing with other. What is it? It is the propellant. The propellant are in the form of solid materials. The propellant is a mixture of two components, one is oxidizer, and another one is fuel. Let's see the constructional details of the rocket. Let me introduce each part of the rocket, one by one. This is the casing. The outermost layer of the rocket, these layer is used to protect the rocket engine. Insulation layer. The second layer of the rocket, the insulation layer, it do not conduct heat from the combustion chamber. Nozzle. Converging, diverging nozzle. It is used for expand and accelerate the combustion gas from the propellant. Propellant. The propellant are the mixture of fuel and oxidizer. Both of them are in solid material. So this is called solid propellant rocket. Igniter, with the help of electric signal, to generate spark and burn the propellant. Let us see the making procedure of the propellant. The propellant are made by two chemical solid components, one is oxidizer, and another one is fuel. Commonly used oxidizer are nitrates, perchlorates, liquid oxygen, etc and fuel, they are in the form of plastic or resin material. Combining these two components and mix with above 58 degrees Celsius of heat, then it become in the form of paste, like this. Then these two components mixture are fill into the cavity inside of rocket, then the propellant is covered with an insulation layer, the blue color molecules are oxidizers, the red color are the fuel. So finally this propellant are ready to explosion. Let us see the working principle of the solid propellant the rocket engine. With the help of electrical signal, the igniter will generate spark. Due to the ignition, the combustion takes place. When combustion takes place in combustion chamber, very high pressure and high temperature gas are produced. The highly heated products of combustion gases are then allowed to expand in the nozzle section. In the nozzle, pressure energy of gas is converted into kinetic energy, so these gases are coming out with very high velocity. Due to the gases coming out with very high velocity from the nozzle, a force or thrust will produce in opposite direction. This thrust propels the rocket or the rocket will move forward. Let's see what are the advantages of the solid propellant rocket. They are simple in design and construction. They do not need any feed system. Less vibrations due to absence of moving parts. Let we see the disadvantages of solid propellant rocket. In the case of emergency, it is difficult to stop the engine in the midway. 
decrease the speed of the rocket is not possible. It cannot able to stop the engine after once ignited. Let's check the applications where it is used. In military, it is used to launch missiles. It is used as a strap on boosters to increase the payload capacity. And it is used in light launch vehicles.